Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I wanna talk about three online money-making skills that will make you rich if you learn them. Now, there are tens of thousands of different skills that you can learn, but if you're watching my channel, I'm guessing that you're interested in making more money. So in this video, I'm gonna reveal three money-making skills that if you learn them and become proficient in them, they can make you pretty rich. These are skills that I've spent years learning and practicing on my own. And while I don't consider myself a master at any of these, they have made me quite a bit of money over the years. So I wanna help you do the same. I'm gonna recommend these three skills for you. And if you go and start learning these skills and practicing them, you can use them to make money for yourself. Now, before we begin, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already. That helps to signal to me that you are enjoying the content, you're getting value out of it. It also helps to show it to other people who might benefit from it as well. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell if you haven't already to get updates for all my future videos. So with that said, let's dive into skill number one. Money making skill number one is opening. And people who have the skill of opening are able to open conversations that lead to relationships and partnerships and sales opportunities. On the sales industry, there's always talk about closing a deal and getting the money but a close never happens unless you open it first. There has to be an opening before the close. So those who know how to open, those who have the skill of opening can make a lot of money uh, if they compare it with skill number two, which we'll talk about in a second. So how do you get good at opening? How do you develop this skill? Well, first, you're gonna spend some time learning about it. So I recommend you pick up a book or a couple books on sales prospecting. Two that I like, number one is Fanatical Prospecting by Jeb Blunt. And number two is how to get a meeting with anyone by Stu Heineke. Now, once you've read those books or you've read a few books and you have a working knowledge of opening and starting conversations, start going out and practicing. So how do you do that? Well, it's real simple. You're gonna pick a niche of people that you wanna work with and you're gonna create some kind of offer that's gonna help that niche with a specific problem. Now, if you're a beginner and just getting started with online business, the easiest place to start is with a service offering, a done for you service offering. And once you have your niche picked and you have your, your offer, which in this case could be a service offering, you're gonna go out and find people in your niche and start reaching out to them to start conversations. Now, if you are in college or maybe you're young and you just don't wanna start your own business or your own freelancing stuff yet, then you can just go and find sales or business development jobs and that is all focused on the skill of opening. So you're gonna be reaching out to companies and opening conversations and getting demos and phone calls booked for the account executives and the sales reps. So the way that I think about opening, the skill of opening is kind of like going virtual door knocking, right? You're going out and you're knocking on people's doors on the internet and you are trying to open conversations in a way that isn't obnoxious or rude. Now, the cool thing about learning this skill of opening is once you are good at it, you can open up money-making opportunities whenever you want. And that could be some kind of valuable relationship or a connection with someone, a potential partnership opportunity, potential client or sales opportunity. You can use it in so many different ways to open conversations with the people that you wanna work with. So that's money-making skill number one is opening. Skill number two is closing. So closing is what you do to get the money or what I call GTM for short. And people who have this skill are able to take an opened conversation, right? We've talked about opening in the last skill. Once a conversation is open, someone who knows how to close can take that conversation of the right people to money in the bank. So they're taking someone from interested to becoming a paying customer or client. So how do you get good at the skill of closing? Well, just like opening, spend some time reading and learning about the skill first. So pick up some books. A few that I like are spin selling. Number two is gap selling. And number three is a book called The Challenger Sale. So spend some time picking up these books, reading through them, taking notes, getting a basic understanding and foundational knowledge about closing. And once you have a working knowledge of closing, go out and again, start practicing it. Now closing goes hand in hand with opening. So let's say you're using the skill of opening, you're opening conversations, and now there's people raising their hand, they're interested in learning more about how to work with you. You're then gonna use your skill of closing and practice your skill of closing to turn those interested people into paying customers and clients. Now, this is one of those skills that is very uncomfortable when you first get started. I was a terrible salesperson. I am naturally introverted. I'm not like a super loud, extroverted, in your face type of person. I'm usually the guy holding a beer and just hanging out on the wall and laughing at people's jokes. So I'm not an extroverted person. It took me a while to get the hang of closing and just sales in general. So it's something you really need to practice in real life situations. Now, an analogy that helped me was looking at it like going to a doctor. So when you go to a doctor, let's say your throat is sore, you walk in to the doctor's office, you tell them your throat hurts, they ask you a few questions, where does it hurt? What did you eat or drink in the past few days? When did it start hurting? 
Is it hurting anywhere else? Like, are you having any other symptoms? So the doctor will go in, you walk into their office, they ask you a few questions to learn more about your situation. And once they feel like they have sufficient information, they give you a diagnosis. They tell you what's going on. You know, maybe you have strep throat or something around that. Maybe you have a cold and they give you some kind of medication to take or to pick up. And that's very similar to what closing is and the whole sales process. You are basically a doctor and you're speaking to these people who are interested and you're diagnosing them. You're figuring out what their pains and problems are. And if you can help them, you are diagnosing them or giving them a solution. And it's gonna be your solution. If you can help them, then you're not gonna give them the medicine. You're not gonna give them that solution. So closing, an important part of closing is only closing the right people that you can help. So just remember that you're basically a doctor. You're diagnosing the, the problem of the patient, which is your prospect. And if you can help them with their specific problem, you're gonna give them the solution, which is gonna be your service offering, your product, whatever it is. Now, if you learn this skill, the skill of closing, and you combine it with opening, you're gonna be able to create money and income whenever you want, right? You can open conversations and you can convert those and close those conversations, those in interested people into money in the bank. So skill number one and two together, opening and closing, very lethal combination. If you only learn those two skills, you can go pretty far in life and make a lot of money. But I don't wanna cut you off short, so let's talk about money-making skill number three, which is email copywriting. So copywriting, if you don't know, is salesmanship in print, using words to persuade and get people to, to buy or take an action. Email copywriting is just copywriting focused on email as a channel or the medium. Now, people who have this skill, they're able to open, close, and build their audience using email. And this could be through sending a cold email outreach message, try and book an appointment, or you could be sending emails out to a list of people who opted in or a list of customers to get them to buy more things. Whatever it is, you're using email specifically, the channel of email, to make more money. Now, why do I recommend email copywriting and not some other channel? Well, first, every single person has an email address and most people check it multiple times daily. Second is email is conversational, so you don't have to be an A-list copywriter or the top 1% to be good at email copywriting. And third, it's the highest ROI marketing and sales channel by far. So if you look up any list of the top sales and marketing channels, you're gonna see email at the top of that list pretty much every time. So to sum it up, it's where people are hanging out. You don't have to be the best in the world to be impactful and effective with email. And email as a channel is one of the top sales and marketing channels and most proven channels out there. Now, the way that I look at email, if you're on my email list, you'll see this all the time, but I look at email as having a chat with a friend at the bar and you're just sipping a beer. So it's conversational, it's casual, no stress, laid back. And that's the way that I look at email. You might be talking, just sharing stories back and forth. You might be talking or making a recommendation of a product that you've been using that maybe helped you lose some weight or put in some muscle and everything is pretty laid back. I just always think of it like having a chat with your friend at a bar over a beer. So if you learn this skill of email copywriting, it's gonna help you out in all sorts of ways, from getting leads to getting customers, getting clients, creating content, which is also gonna help you build your audience. So email copywriting, very versatile skill, and one of my favorite things to learn and work on and get better at. So those are the three money-making skills, online money-making skills. If you learn them, become proficient in them, will make you rich in the long run. So again, number one is opening, number two is closing, number three is email copywriting. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and let me know in the comments, which one out of these three skills are you gonna start learning and practicing and getting better at first? Love to hear from you. Also, if you wanna learn specifically about email copywriting, go to emailrainmaker.com. It's gonna take you to my free group where I share more content around how to learn the skill of writing emails that sell so that you can start getting paid for it. So again, emailrainmaker.com. It's gonna take you to my group. You can join for free. And that is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.